can one company save the world? No. No company can save the world on its own. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Maybe can startups, corporates, SMEs, investors, can stakeholders from the economy save the world together? Yes, they can, but only if they collaborate. Hi, my name is Leon, and I'm a notorious optimist. I'm the kind of really seriously annoying optimist. I'm the guy who, when everyone's like, nah, that can't work, no, we can't do it, I'm like, hey, flip the script, take it upside down, we can do it, it's gonna be amazing. That's me. You've probably heard by now that as humanity, we're facing multiple challenges of unparalleled magnitude. Well, unless you don't look up, I guess. Me, I work in impact. What is impact? Impact is where we try to turn the ship around. Impact is people working to counteract these crazy challenges with entrepreneurship and innovation. They write code to create a more inclusive workplace. They 3D print modules to rebuild coral reefs or create new kinds of plastic from captured CO2. They even plant millions of trees using online search. For many years, we've seen successful projects, inspiring entrepreneurs, creating meaningful impact, deeply moving stories, many told on stages like this one. But today I stand here and I have to tell you, none of it had an impact that would actually turn the ship around. Gender parity will not be attained for another 100 years. We're still emitting more CO2 each and every year. And trash in oceans is set to triple by 2040. There's COP23, COP24, COP25, COP26, and it becomes this annual random event. And everything just seems to get worse. Being an optimist turned out to be nothing but stupid. Why are we still merely slowing down on our rampage to destroy the planet than to actually turn the ship around? Well, because it's hard. Because going from unsustainable to sustainable often requires us to do things 100% differently. Operationalizing sustainability is in need of innovation, and it often requires a lot of scale. It requires not only new products or services, it often needs us to rethink complete industries. And even though those innovators and startups I told you about are amazing, by themselves, they cannot turn the ship around. To really turn the ship around, we need to involve all the stakeholders in the economy. And not only set new goals like so many CEOs are right now, we actually need to fundamentally rethink the way we get there. What is needed to achieve a new industrial revolution with millions of sustainable innovations powering it, like Sir David Attenborough has called for at COP26. What is actually needed to turn the ship around? It's collaboration, radical collaboration. Well, when I, as the optimistic impact guy, say, let's collaborate, you might think, I mean, in the kind of lovey-dovey, hippie way. Let's just work together. Together we can save the world. No. What I mean is radical. It's, in fact, the most radical way to rethink business. Radical collaboration means that we need to 
really be willing to work with anyone who is willing to help, even a competitor. Radical collaboration means shifting the mindset to understand that there can and will be more than one winner. It means understanding that keeping knowledge and resources closed shop will not lead to a competitive advantage. Sharing it increases the chances to win. Instead of winner takes it all, radical collaboration means it takes us all to be winners. Sounds great, you will think. Catchy tweet. But how? how? How is this actually going to happen? Well, I've worked in the field of social and sustainable innovation for more than 10 years. And I found that there is certain ingredients that are needed to make collaboration work. Collaboration that actually produces successful innovation that has the potential to scale. It needs a challenge, a specific but universal challenge. It needs a community of relevant players from diverse backgrounds who want to do something about this challenge. It needs a carefully curated set of activities bringing this community together and it needs a team. It needs a team that does nothing but connect the dots and facilitate collaboration. That's what I call a collaborative ecosystem. Imagine a collaborative ecosystem where animal safety activists, a supermarket chain, and some entrepreneurs develop vegan products as alternatives to animal-based products. Imagine a collaborative ecosystem where a startup works with the biggest jeans producer worldwide and some really smart experts to take every single pair of used jeans, turn it into yarn, and ultimately in a new pair of, new, of jeans for you. This sounds kind of wacky, you might think, but examples like these have happened. And more of them w can, should, and will happen in the coming years. But only if we embrace radical collaboration and create collaborative ecosystems so that we will actually produce the innovations that we need to solve the grand challenges of our time. By the way, we've actually recently seen the power of collaboration at play, very recently. Every person in this room has benefited from it. And most of the people who are watching this online will also have benefited from it. I'm talking about the development of the COVID-19 vaccine. As the outbreak took hold, researchers uploaded the genetic sequence of the virus onto a public website so the most brilliant medical minds would get to work on a vaccine. And then, rather than working in silos, secretly researching, doing R&D, rival pharmaceutical companies got together, so did numerous supporters. Governments spent billions on supporting this research. Never before have we seen so far-reaching medical progress in such a short span of time. And we did it because we worked together. So what do we need to create millions of sustainable innovations? What do we need to turn the ship around? It's collaboration, radical collaboration. And to enable collaboration, we need to build collaborative ecosystems. We will need those unexpected alliances to come up with unexpected solutions. The shift we are going through is too big for one company. It's too big for five or even 500 companies. Because one company cannot save the world. Sorry, Mr. Musk. But many companies, together, they can. So today, I stick to what I'm good at being notoriously optimistic. As a species, we have one superpower. It's this one superpower that, psych that evolutionary psychologists say is the reason why we've been so wildly successful. It's the reason why we've grown in numbers so drastically. And it's the reason why we've changed the face of our planet so dramatically. And you've guessed it, 
It's our ability to collaborate. So when it's about how to save the world, we should stick to what we're good at. We should build on what has made us so successful in the first place. Our unique skill set for collaboration. Thank you.